We are the Hebrew Israelites as you read about in these scriptures. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, your true nationality is the children of Israel, the true chosen people of the Most High God. And in these last days, we need to come back to the Most High God and keep his commandments, man. That's how we're going to get salvation, and that's how we're going to get saved, because this place is going to get burned by thermonuclear fire, man. And if we continue to follow in the ways of America, in the, in the, ways, of, in the, ways, in the ways of the society, we're going to get caught up in the fire that's coming. So we gotta come back to our heritage, our nationality, and keep these commandments. Whoa, whoa, let's go! Yeah, these scriptures saved my life. That don't ever change. That don't ever change, no, no. Every single day I strive to see them heaven's gates. To see them heaven's gates, yeah, yeah. Yeah, these scriptures saved my life. That don't ever change. That don't ever change, no, no. Every single day I strive to see them heaven's gates. To see them heaven's gates, yeah, yeah. Crush time on the clock, ain't no time to play whoa, whoa. Come back to these laws, you can ride the wave uh -huh. Dripping that holy water, okay, no holy How you doing, brother? How you doing? How you doing, man? Let's go chop right over this real quick, man Give me five minutes, give me five minutes Let's go chop right over this Give, give, give him a hand, give him a hand Give him a hand, I'll be out No, 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 don't walk away, man Don't walk away, let me Come on, come on, come on, come on, man Let me, let me ask y'all a question Let me ask y'all a question Would y'all say that y'all love God? Yeah? How y'all you, how show God y'all love him? Okay, what about, what about your Bible? The same thing? Okay. Y'all believe in the Bible at all? Okay. So let me, let me show you out of the Bible, because the Bible gives us a specific way that we show God that we love Him, right? So let me, let me, let me read that for you. The book of 1 John chapter 5 verse 3. For this is the love of God. Right. This is how we show God that we love Him. Read on. That we keep His commandments. We do what? That we keep His commandments. So keeping God's commandments, that's how we show God that we love Him. So now, let me ask y'all, come on, give me, give, me, give me a couple minutes here. Let me, let me ask y'all, if loving God is keeping his commandments, what commandments do y'all keep to show God that you love him? Common question? No, it's no, it's no, it's no, it's no problem. Because what, what we're out here to do is we're out here to show you the commandments that you're supposed to be keeping to show God that we love him. And show you who you are according to the Bible. So what's y'all ethnicity? What's y'all nationality? You're Haitian? Who are you, same? Yeah, Afri African American. Okay. Okay. So... Do you see the term Haitian or African American in the Bible whatsoever at all? Oh, you don't see that at all, right? So we gotta understand now, what did God call us? Did God call us Haitian? Did he call us African American? But the thing is the Haitians and African Americans are actually in the Bible. But they're not called Haitians or African Americans. They're called the Israelites according to the Bible. That's who the that's who we are as blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we're the children of Israel. So now let me show y'all how we identify with being the children of Israel. Are y'all familiar with um with Moses at all by any chance? Moses? Y'all know about Moses? Okay. So let's get that, Deuteronomy 28. Or actually, go go uh, Deuteronomy 1 and 1, and then go to 28. 28. So well, I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna take too much of your time. I just wanna just kinda go through some things just just show you how we how we know that we're the children of Israel, okay? Read that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto who? Unto right all Israel. So in the book of Deuteronomy, Moses is talking to all the children of Israel. So now let's see some of the things that he's, he's saying to them. All right, read that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command you this day. Right, so this is Moses talking to the children of Israel. He said, if, if the children of Israel don't want to listen to God and keep his commandments, follow the things that he tells them to do, right, read on. That all these curses, all these what? All these curses, right, it says all these curses, read on. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right, so it says if we don't listen to God and keep his commandments, all the curses are going to come upon us. So are curses a good thing or a bad thing? Bad thing, right? So let's see some of these bad things that are going to be outlined, and let's see if we can relate to them as a people, right? Oh, you can read the next verse, uh, 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. So it says one of the curses is that the children of Israel are going to be cursed in the city. So when you look at all around the world, in the slums, the ghettos, you know, all the low-income neighborhoods, what race of people live in those places? Primary, like majority for the majority. Our people, right? Right, our people, so-called blacks, you know, Hispanics, you know, we live in those low-income neighborhoods. So it says, the scripture says that we're going to be cursed in the city. And we can see that and we can relate to that as people that, you know, the way that we're living in, in these cities, you know, that that's a cursed, that's a cursed state of living. All right, read on. And cursed shall thou be in the field. And it says we're going to be cursed in the field. So who was in the cotton field, the tobacco field? It was our people, right? So it says we're going to be cursed in the field as well. 
and you can even um, apply it to like the job field as well because a lot of our people are struggling to find a, to find jobs. We're last hired for Aspire, you know, it, it's hard for us to catch a break, you know? So it says we're gonna be cursing the field as well. You can jump to uh, 40, 47. Verse 47. We're going to do a few more for you, brother. Verse 47. Uh -huh. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness uh -huh. and with gladness of heart uh -huh. for the abundance of all things, uh -huh. therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. Right. So because we didn't want to serve God with, with you know, being happy serving God, he said we're going to serve our enemies, right? So now let, let's, let's see how we're going to be serving our enemies. Finish that up. Which the Lord shall send against thee. In hunger. In what? In hunger. Right, so it says we're going to be serving our enemies in hunger. So where do you go to get, like, where do y'all go to get food? Like, name, name some stores that y'all go. You said Walmart, Walmart, Target, Publix. You know, what race of people own these stores? White people, right? So it says we're going to be serving our enemies, meaning the other nations, but we're going to be serving them, having to go through them to get the things that we want to eat. Are we not? And in thirst, things that we want to drink, we got to go to those same stores to get the water, to get like a Coca Cola or anything like that. To, 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 to you know, things that we want to drink, read on. And in nakedness, right, we want to get some clothes. You know, we got to go to their stores to be able to get the clothes that we, that we need to wear, right? All right, read on. And in want uh -huh. of all things, right? And want of all things, we want to get a driver's license, we want to get insurance. We want to get a passport. We got to go to their institutions, all these you know, white people institutions, to you know to, to get what we need to get. That's the curse out of the Bible that we had to do that. But now, now read, read on. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Right. Now the Bible says he's going to put a yoke of iron on the neck. Is it, you know the sign there? The sign there? Right. right. So you see this sign right here? It says that. One of the, another part of the curse is that there's going to be a yoke of iron on our neck. You see this right here? See this right here? That happens to our people, right? And that's, that's, that's what the Bible said, that that was going to be a curse. And this actually happened, right? And that's, that shows a curse out of the Bible. That shows that, you know, the Bible is talking about us. It's talking about our people, right? Right? So, uh, go to verse 54. Verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother. Right, so now, now another part, another curse that, that's going on is that, you know, it says the man that's tender and delicate among you said so their eye is going to be evil towards his brother. So when you look at our community, would you say that the rate for, you know, black on black crime is pretty high? Right, it's, it's pretty high, right? That's, a, that's another curse that would happen to us because we wanted to disobey God. That's why, you know, a lot of our people, we step on each other's shoes and we want, we want to shoot them. We step in each other's shoes. We want to fight and all these things, man. Just, just for, just, just for doing nothing. We want to, we want to have so much anger and so much hatred towards one another, man. That's the curse that is the, that that happened to us in the Bible, right? Finish that off. And toward the wife of his bosom, and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Which what? Which he shall leave. Right, so it says the the man is going to be leaving the household, right? So, did you, did you grow up with the father? Did you grow up with the father? Okay, well that's good. I'll praise this. I'll praise. This. I grew up with a father as well. But a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of our people they don't grow up with the father in their life, right? right. And that, that primarily happens to us, you know, so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. That primarily happens to us as a people, right? And that just shows you out of the Bible that you know the fact that you know there's no father in, in a majority of our households that that's a curse, and that that shows that we can relate to that as a people, right? Um, let's finish it out, verse sixty-eight. Verse sixty-eight. And the Most High yes. shall bring thee into Egypt again. Uh -huh. So, so now this part says Moses is going to bring us into Egypt again. Oh, y'all like, following? Yeah. It says Moses, or, or not the Moses. Sorry, the Most High is going to bring the children of Israel into Egypt again. When Israel was in Egypt, they were slaves. So, when it's talking about Egypt, it's not talking about that, that specific place, but it's talking about that condition. All right, read read that. This is the book of Exodus, chapter twenty. In verse 2, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, right. out of the house of bondage. Out of what? Out, out of, of the, the house, house of bondage. Of bondage. Right, so it, Egypt is synonymous for slavery or bondage, right? So now I'll go back to uh, Deuteronomy. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Most High shall bring thee into Egypt again uh -huh. with Ships. With what? With ships. So it says he's going to bring us into Egypt, meaning slavery again, but this time by ships. 
So how did our people get to America? How did your people get to Haiti? How did they get there? By ships, right? By slave ships, right? That was prophesied out of the Bible. That that would happen to the children of Israel. That we'd be brought into America, into, into Haiti, Jamaica, all these different places all across the globe through slave ships. That's prophesied out of the Bible that that would happen to the children of Israel. So, if we can relate to these things in the Bible, and the Bible is talking about the children of Israel, then what, is that? what does that make us? What does that make us? <laughs> you got it, brother. You got it. You got a family. Hmm? So, no, okay. So, I, I, I was, I'll rephrase it again. So, if the scriptures, if we can relate to this as a people, right? Like a lot of the things that I've been going going over, we can relate to that as a people. If, if, if God is talking to the children of Israel in this whole book, and we can relate to that, then what does that make us? Yeah, there, get it, brother. Yeah, man, get my hand. I'll pray to the most high. That makes us the children of Israel, right? So that's our true nationality. We're the children of Israel. We're the Israelites, according to the Bible. So in order for us to reverse these curses, we got to keep God's commandments. That's how we show God that we love him. That's how we know God is dealing with us if we keep his commandments. Look at, let me show y'all a couple of commandments that y'all can keep. Y'all, y'all eat pork at all by any chance? Say yeah. What about you? Like pork, like ham? Yeah? All right. Let's, let's get that. The book of Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. And the swine. And the what? And the swine. And the swine, the pork, the, the ham, the pig, right? Read on. Though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he chew up not the cud. He is unclean to you. He is what? He is unclean to you. Right, so the pork, the pig, that's unclean to us. Meaning that we're not supposed to be eating it. But we're finished out. Of their flesh, Shall ye not eat? Right, so we're not supposed to be eating of their flesh. We're not supposed to be eating pork at all. All right, read on. And their carcass shall ye not touch. Uh -huh. They are unclean to you. All right, so pork, pork is unclean to us. We're not supposed to be eating that. So if loving God is keeping his commandments and God told us we're not supposed to be eating pork, would you be willing to stop eating pork for God? Let's get a hand. What about, what about you? What about you? All, all praises. All praises. That's what's up. And that, that's what it is. It's those little steps that we got to take. Because there's more commandments that, that we're supposed to be keeping, right? So um, that's what's up. Now, now, do y'all eat like shrimp, crab, lobster, or anything like that? Yeah? All right, let's get into that as well. Read on. Verse 9. These shall he eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall he eat. Right, so now the Bible gives us a specific, two things that are in the waters that we're supposed to be eating, that they have to have these two things. It's fins and scales. So, what fish in the water have fins and scales? Yeah, like a, any, any fish. Uh, shark, shark, uh, they don't have any scales. If I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they don't have any scales. So, like tuna, salmon, snapper, you know, all these fishes, they have fins and scales. So now, what fish in the water don't have fins and scales? Yo, no. Oh, it's a lot of them. <laughs> huh? Okay, a, a yield, that's one. That's one. Uh-huh. Yeah, shrimp. Yeah. Crab. 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 Uh, everything that's all they selling right over there. Oh, man, everything. You see that? You see that fried shrimp? You see that seafood platters? All that stuff? That's stuff that we're not supposed to eat. That's abomination. Right, we're not supposed to be eating that stuff. So, all the fish in the water that don't have fins and scales, like you said, the shrimp, the crab, the lobster, the catfish, because catfish, they don't have any scales. Um, calamari, uh, craw crawfit, crawfish, or things like this. Mus I, yeah, mussels, clams, we're not supposed to be eating all that stuff in the waters. So, like, I, like I, I'm going to ask you the same question like I asked before. If loving God is showing that, we, that it's keeping his commandments, and God tells us that we're not supposed to be eating the shrimp, the crab, the lobster, would you be willing to stop that as well? All right, you give, give him a hand, man. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. All praises. All praises. All praises. That's, that's what it takes. That's what it takes, man. It's those little steps that we have to take. Because we, we're not going to get the whole understanding, you know, at once. But as, as, as long as you're continuing to strive to keep these commandments, you know, learning something new every single day, then, you know, then um, the most I got can show you mercy, right? You got, you got something? The book of Sirach, chapter 2 and verse 15. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. And they that love him will keep his way. We'll do what? We'll keep his ways. Right, so for us to love God, we gotta keep his ways. So not eating the pork, 
not eating the shrimp, the crab, the lobster, if y'all are true to what y'all say, y'all gonna stop eating it, y'all are showing God that you love him in that aspect, right? And that, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about, learning who we are. Learning who we are. Now, I wanna, I wanna give it to one last thing for you, one last thing. Let me, let me get this out right here. Y'all know who this is? Who is this? That's Jesus? That's what he, yeah? That's what it looks like according to the Bible? No? Hmm? Would y'all say that that's, how, that's what it looks like according to the Bible? Because a lot of people, you know, we'll show this picture, a lot of people say that that's Christ, that that's what he looks like. But the Bible gives actually a, a, a separate, a separate description that does not match up to this picture. So, let's get that revelation. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record, what what? who bear record, right, who bear record, we don't, of the word of God. All right, so John the Revelator, he bared record of what Christ looked like according to the Bible. So now let's get that account and let's get the description that he gives of how Christ looks. Uh, you could jump to 13. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it gives two descriptions that his head and his hairs were white, like the color of his hair was white, and it was of a woolly texture. Now what, what race of people have woolly textured hair, like a sheep? Well, it said, it said he has white hair, his hair, the color of his hair is white, but the texture of how it feels is his wool, it's like like wool. Right, our people, right? We got woolly textured hair. Like if, you t if you touch your hair right now, that's that's wool. That's wool right there, right? So now you look at this picture, does he have does he have woolly textured hair? No, right? So that's that's strike one. That's strike one, that, that, that his, hair, his hair does not match the description that the Bible was given. Right, read on. As white as snow, and his eyes, were as a flame of fire. Were as what? A flame of fire. All right, so it said his eyes were as a flame of fire. What color, what color is fire? Red, right? But look at, when you look at this image, they portray him to have blue eyes, right? So is that, is the way that his eyes look here match with what the Bible says? No, right? So that's strike two. That's strike two, read on. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. And his feet. Now your feet is the same color as the rest of your body, right? So it says, and his feet, read on. Like unto fine brass. Like unto what? Fine brass. His feet is like unto fine brass. What color is brass? You know what color? Like yeah, like a yellow, gold. Uh huh. But it's gonna get more in detail, like of, of how how he looks or how how the brass is. As if they burned in a furnace. As what? As if they burned in a furnace. As if they burned in a furnace. You burn anything in a furnace or oven. What what color is it gonna turn? Well, after it's burned, so it's, it's already burned black, right? So it says that Christ was so black, it was like he was burnt in a furnace. So now, is, does he look like that at all? No, right? So that's so. Would you say that after reading this in the Bible, would you say that this is Christ? No, right? So now, what I want y'all to do is I want y'all to slap him. I want y'all to slap him. If this is not Christ, you know, we said that this is not Christ. I want you to slap him because this image is is seared in a lot of our people's minds. A lot of our people think that this is Christ. They pray, they pray to get, they pray at night and they look at this guy right here. But this is not what Christ looks like according to the Bible. So if y'all don't believe that this is Christ, I want y'all I want y'all to step on him. I want y'all to step on him, man. Step on him, man. Come on, man. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared, man. Don't be scared, man. Don't be scared, man. Just go ahead and step on him, man. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. You gotta step on him, man. You see that? You see that? You gotta step on him, man. Come on, man. Yeah, do, do the gritty on it, man. Do the gritty on it. Do the gritty on it, man. Come on, man. Tap on it. 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 Come on, man. Tap on it. Tap on it. Tap on it. Come on, man. Tap on it. Tap on it. Tap on it. Tap on it. Come on, man. Come on, man. You got to do it. You got no choice, brother. You got no choice, man. It's not. That's not Christ. We showed you that that's not Christ according to the Bible, right? You still believe it's, you still believe it's Christ, man? You're not standing on business. Come on, you're not standing on business, man. You're supposed to be a mighty man, brother. You're supposed to be a mighty, a mighty priest, man. You're supposed to be a mighty Levite, man. A mighty man from the tribe of Levi. You gotta step on it, man. Come on, man. You gotta step on it, man. Huh? Yeah, you're supposed to step on it, man. Come on, man. 
We showed you that we we showed you that's not Christ. This image should hold no value to you whatsoever, right? <laughs> stay on business. Stay on business, man. Come on, come on, man. Come on, man. No, 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 no. You got, you got, you got, you got a stump on it, man. You got a stump on that thing, man. You got a stump on that thing, man. No, <laughs> no, no. I'm not, I can't let you go until you step on it, man. I can't let you go, man. Come on, you see that? You see that mighty step? You got to step on it, bro. Come on, family. Just step on it. You step on it. Step on it. I'll let you be. Step on it. I'll let you be. And no, don't lightly. There you go. There you go. All right, I'll give you that, man. I'll give you that, man. <laughs> so, okay, before y'all go, before y'all go, you gotta, you gotta step on that thing. Let's step on it. Step on it, man. Stop on it. Stop on it, man. Right here. Right there. Right there. There you go. There you go. Give him a hand, man. Give him a hand. We need that one All the images, man. All the images. Give him a hand, man. All praises, all praises. So before y'all go, y'all, I want y'all to know you, you're the children of Israel. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Levi, okay? In order for us to show God to be loved him, we gotta keep his commandments, right? So are you gonna you said you're gonna stop eating the pork, right? You're gonna stop eating the shrimp, right? So those taking those steps, that's how we show God to be love him, okay? So remember that, alright? Did, did you get a flyer? You got a flyer? Alright. Alright, brother. Alright, take care, man. Huh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Huh, man. All praise to the most high. That's what it's about, man. That's what it's about. Yeah, give, give him a hand, man. Give him a hand, man. That's what it's about. That's what it's about, man. We out here. Give me um what's that? Second Corinthians 10 and 5? Uh, imaginations, casting down imaginations. What's that first? Con? Yeah, second Corinthians 10 and 5. And that's what we out here to do, casting down those imaginations, man. A lot of people when they read the Bible, they think that the Bible's talking about a whole bunch of white people, man. That Christ was white, Moses was white, God was white. A lot of people, they had this image in our mind, man. But our, what our mission is and what, I, what we're out here to do is we're out here to remove that image from these people's heads, man. Because according to the Bible, all these people are, all, all the people in the scriptures, the prophets, they're the people of color. The people of color, man. Read that. This is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, through the pulling down of the stronghold. Casting down imaginations. Well, what? Casting down imaginations. Casting down imaginations. That's what we are here to do. Is we're casting down those imaginations, man. But this image is an imagination, man. This is not what the scripture said that Christ looks like. That's an imagination. But a lot of our people, they believe that that's what Christ looks like. And when they pray, they, they see him, man. But that's not according to the Bible. So we're casting down those imaginations and those, those, those fairy tales, man. Read on. And every high thing that is those in itself is the knowledge of God. Uh -huh. And bring it into captivity right, every right. thought right. to the obedience of Christ. The obedience of Christ, man. That's what we are here to do, man. Casting down all those wicked imaginations, man. Thinking that God is white, thinking that Moses is white, all the prophets are white. That's not according to the Bible. Right. That's not according to the Bible, man. Yeah. I pray to y'all that one day my people see them chariots. Spreading the word in them streets, but my people not hearing us. I pray that we make it